Hi guys, good morning. How are you doing today? Great. I'm really excited to be here. This is my third time at NGConf. I'm my first time as a speaker at the conference. And today I'm going to talk about black holes and angular interceptors. I came all the way from Cochabamba, Bolivia, my hometown, to be here and share my thoughts with the community. I'm a GDE of Angular and Web Technologies. I am working as a software engineer at Hero Devs, which is a nice company where I can get some superpowers thanks to our friend Frosty. And I am the organizer of Angular Bolivia Community and NG Bolivia Conference. I consider myself as an open source enthusiast and I love to do astrophotography. So today, let's talk about black holes. What I think most of you saw the very first picture of a black hole can you hear me? Some days ago, right? It was pretty cool. I love that picture. But to understand what it is, think of a star at least 10 times more massive than the sun, squeezed into a sphere approximately the diameter of Salt Lake City. The result is a mysterious object with a gravitational field so strong that nothing, not even the light, can escape. In order to understand this concept better, let's talk about happened can you, can you, I need you to use this mic because that mic keeps cutting out. OK. Yeah, sorry. As you can see in this animation, um, so the NASA SWIFT satellite de detected intense X-ray flares thought to be caused by a black hole devouring a star. But we are at NGConf, and we would love to know more about Angular, right? Let's talk about Angular interceptors now. HTTP interceptors is a major feature of the Angular framework. They provide a way to inspect and transform HTTP requests from the application to the server. Let's suppose we have an Angular application that needs to send an access token to the server. To solve this problem, we can have a black hole interceptor just in the middle so that we can catch all outgoing HTTP requests from the application so that we can add the access token to them. The first step to do that is implement an authentication service, which is a class that is going to provide a way to set and get the access token. The next step will be define our black hole interceptor uh, that needs to implement HTTP interceptor interface. That means we are going to have an intercept function where we can create a, a clone of the original HTTP request so that we can add the authorization header to it. Next, and as a good practice, we can have a TypeScript file where we can uh, define an HTTP interceptor providers array and we can add our first Angular interceptor to it. And finally, we can use it as part of the provider's array inside of the application module. In this way, we can add more than uh, one Angular interceptor in the future without having to update the app module again. So if we are going to run this code, we'll see that every HTTP request of our Angular application is going to be called by our Angular interceptor. And this service is going to transform every object, and the result will be the same HTTP request plus an authorization header, as you can see here. Other use cases about Angular Interceptor. Well, we can use interceptors to add other custom headers, not only the authorization. We can do logging, caching service data, we can implement a loader service, showing general notifications, like uh, uh, this object has been created successfully without having oh, a general notification, like uh, this object, object has been created successfully if we have a 201 as HTTP code from the server, for example. We can do error handling, and of course, you can think in your own use case. Here you can find some useful resources about this topic on the first link, uh, the slides of this talk. Um, I have a project on my GitHub account with the source code uh, that I shown before. You can take a look on the official Angular guide about these uh, interceptors. And I found an interesting article in Angular in the blog, which is top 10 ways to use interceptors in Angular. 
I'll be sharing more resources about this topic on my Twitter handle. You can follow me there. I hope you enjoyed this talk. Thank you very much.